Hello biologists, today we are looking at Biodiversity 4.2.1 taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology. We're looking at specification point A on how biodiversity can be considered at different levels. The different aspects to biodiversity, we're going to look at each one, but later on within the specification for biodiversity, biodiversity we do go over these some of these in a bit more detail. So the first one is obviously we get biodiversity within a species. So for example, homo sapiens like ourselves, we have variation within our species, um, biodiverse within our species. Um, and the definition of a species, this is taken from a red box. So it's from the MART scheme. The definition of a species is being able to breed to produce fertile offspring. So for example, a lion and a lioness, they're the same species. They can breed to produce fertile offspring. But a lion and a tiger, they can reproduce to produce something called a liger, but a liger is not fertile. So therefore, a lion and a tiger are not from the same species. So this is a variety of different cats. And the whole biodiversity thing here is getting at that we have a, a variety of different species. So obviously, these are all cats, a different species of different cats. We've got a, a wide variety and a wide biodiversity of these animals now species biodiversity uh, the main one in which it is measured is species evenness and species evenness we're going to look at in a little bit more detail in speci specification point c but it is measured using the simpsons index of diversity which again is later on within the biodiversity species richness is literally just the number of species within an area so, for example, if we go back to there, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Uh, seven would be our species richness. We have seven different species there on that image. The next one is um, habitats. Um, so, a habitat, obviously, within a habitat, we have a range of, uh, of areas where different species can live. And the definition of a habitat is an area in which an individual species individuals within a species live and obviously you have different habitats depending on where you are so they could really throw anything at you here within the exam you just need to be wary of and, and maybe watch a couple of documentaries about different types of habitats that you can come across so general knowledge here is really good for this area so as you can see habitat biodiversity and it's listed a couple here but it, like i said it's just general knowledge the more habitat biodiversity you have the more likely you are to have more organisms living there and therefore have more species biodiversity as well because it provides habitats for those individuals and we also have a diversity within our genetics for example we all have different genes from our parents and it's important in order to keep the gene pool large now we, it's important we have a large gene pool um, so that we are able to withstand disease that, um, so that we have a strong genetics and it, it helps us, um, we, which we're going to look at later on when we do get genetics, which is in year 13. So genetic biodiversity here, this is measured um, in, gene, in gene polymorphic loci, which you're going to look at in specification point E in biodiversity. So we'll look at this again later on. So genetic biodiversity, for example, different breeds within a species. So you can think of that within, for example, dogs and the variety of dog species that you have. Now, all these different, all these different breeds, sorry, breed, all these different breeds of dogs um, it's just basically a variety of genes within the population that makes them so different from one another. So the definition of biodiversity can be the variety of life, variety of ecosystems, genetic diversity or variety of genes, the number of species. Uh, and that's it. So wherever you see semicolon, that is uh, another marking point. So there are four, up to four marking points here for the definition of biodiversity although a definition is normally only two marks. Okay, so there's that specification point covered. Like I said, there are parts of this that we are going to visit later on within the biodiversity um, specification. So we will come back to some of these, especially species richness, species evenness, and genetic biodiversity. But this is a good introduction to them. Guys, good luck with your exams. Please remember, don't use the words it, they, amount, or size and use good scientific terminology within your explanations. All the best.